Welcome back to another vlog. More specifically, welcome to my 23rd birthday vlog. Let's start with me showing you what I made for dinner tonight. It is a delicious dish. This is beef bolognese pasta, beef stir fried, not stir fried, pan fried with onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, um, and then tomato sauce. Then there's the pasta and some cheese. I also made a little Caesar salad. There's romaine lettuce, cucumbers, avocado, and hard boiled egg. Really not that simple. I, I mean, not that complicated. What am I talking about? And I'm making croutons right now. I'm literally just toasting ends of bread in the oven right now. And I'm gonna top it on my salad. But there is my dinner of the night. Look at how good this looks. I know I showed you earlier, but now the croutons are done. These are so crispy. And I put Parmesan on top because I'm really trying to love myself. Have a San Pellegrino, and then I'm gonna watch YouTube if it ever loads. It's being really slow right now, so we'll see. Good morning and happy Saturday. I literally just woke up, so I'm sorry I look so rough. I usually start off my mornings with a little bit of reading and I wanted to share the book that I'm reading right now because I absolutely am obsessed with it. It is called Single on Purpose by John Kim. I don't know how I found this in the library. It was just something that I just I was just was drawn to it and obviously right now I'm going through a breakup and I'm trying to figure out who I am outside of a relationship and I have loved this book and it has helped me so much already and I'm literally I'm like the third chapter so one thing that I love about it and the reason why I borrowed it in the first place is I saw that at the end of some chapters there are basically like problems or reflections that you can journal about those are my absolute gem I love journaling and I love journaling and reflecting but I just think that some of the things that he says in here is just so useful. So in the intro alone, I remember I found a really, really good nugget, but let me find it. First one is, radical acceptance is the practice of accepting life on life's terms and not resisting what you cannot change. Radical acceptance is about saying yes to life just as it is. Last thing in the intro that I found really helpful, love and relationships are only one part of your life, not your entire life. There are so many other aspects of your life that are meaningful and fulfilling. Your art, your career, exercising your voice, and the dent you're going to make in this world. Your friendships, your family, your passions and hobbies. Your curiosity leading you to explore, learn, grow, and expand. When you actually build your own life, a life that is honest to you and stands on its own, the fear of being alone starts to fade. So... This has really helped me not just want to jump into talking to other people and stuff like that again. Not that I really wanted to, but I feel like this breakup, I'm really going to try and spend a couple months just connecting with myself again and figuring out who I am inside, how I can make myself happy, how I can make myself feel loved. And this book has really helped me already and I'm gonna continue that today. But today is Saturday and as we all know, every Saturday I usually go to my favorite cafe to do some journaling and also get some work done. Today is no different. Um, I'm super excited because my cafe will bring back the breakfast danishes and I haven't had them in a couple weeks because their baker was on vacation. So I'm just gonna pack up my stuff and get ready for that. before I start recording my podcast and cleaning and stuff like that. But I thought it'd be fun because today's April 1st to update my little fridge calendar. So we're gonna update it for April. I'm gonna show you how I go about it. First, of course, we need to erase what went on in March. So I'm gonna grab a towel and do that real quick. There we go, we have a fresh canvas. I'm gonna start with designing the little April cover tag. I don't really know what kind of theme I wanna do. Um, it's my birthday month, so obviously I could do like a birthday theme, but honestly for me, 
by the end of April, I forget that my birthday even happened in April. So maybe we'll do something else like a spring theme. I'm not really sure, but I'll see what I come with, come up with. There are also all the days of the month. I just did a simple cursive title for now. I don't really know what I want to do, but I'm going to grab my phone calendar and refer to any important events this month. So I think this month important events are going to go in this magenta color and I'm just going to go through and write down all the things I want to do. Those are the important events I have for now. Now I'm going to go in with this light green color. The light green has always just been my life admin deadlines, like when I need to change my contacts, when I need to wash my sheets, random stuff like that, because I find that it is so helpful to have it written down than try to remember everything. So let's do those. Next up, we are going in with the dark blue color because that is my podcast uploading schedule. So. I'm gonna write down when I upload my podcast and any episode ideas, I don't have any. Usually I make them on the fly, but it's good to mark them in the calendar. And doing the same for my YouTube schedule in red. And then this is the most daily use for my calendar, which is the light blue. I marked down what lunch I'm gonna bring because this helps me keep track of what I need to cook for dinner. It's so useful. And then at the very bottom on this side, I just like to put a little affirmation to keep myself going. Um, let me think of one that I want to do. I'm going to grab one from my affirmation pile. And there's my calendar set up. It looks pretty bare right now, but usually by the end of the month, just like you saw earlier with my March calendar, it gets so much more full and it just reminds me of how much of a good month I had. Also the quote I chose here is make time for the things that matter the most. It's kind of like a play on words because this is obviously a calendar where I schedule things. So it's a good little reminder. Anyways, we're gonna keep going with cleaning and organizing. It's a big cleaning day. I didn't clean anything yesterday, so we gotta vacuum, do all my laundry, and all this stuff. So let's get started on that. Sit down. Also did not do a grocery haul yesterday because I forgot my camera in the car and I just wanted to show you look at these carnations I bought for this week they are so beautiful like the color and I love carnations and I think this is just like the perfect birthday bunch I love them all right here is my lunch of the day I made a sandwich it has romaine lettuce ham and brie cheese and pesto that's it it's very simple i also have some leftovers from when i went to tnt yesterday i love their prepared food section these are pork dumplings they're gyozas and then there's a tea egg don't know if you guys have ever had that but it's basically like a hard-boiled egg steeped in tea and flavors and it's just so good it's one of my favorite things and i'm finishing off the san pellegrino from last night i don't even think it's carbonated anymore at this point but yeah after lunch i might i don't even know what should i do i might go on a bike ride but i also want to go to the mall to sephora because i want to pick up my birthday gift and also some other like essentials that i've been missing i realize i'm almost out of my face wash and i need to get garbage bags because i also realize i have no garbage bags left in my place so there's a couple places we need to go i don't know my plan so we'll see I do want to go outside though because it might start raining later and right now it's like blue skies and I want to take advantage of that. I'm going to think it through and I'll get back to you. Okay, I am going to go on a bike ride because I found out my friend Rebecca is like five minutes away from me so I might bike over to where she is just to see her. But I didn't even show you guys my bike. There it is. It's so cute. It is just this pretty brown color, has a little basket. This is my helmet. And there's a little water bottle holder too. This gets pretty clunky when you're like on gravel, but if you're on the road, honestly, it's like fine. But that's my new bike. Just wanted to show you. Anyways, even though it's so sunny outside, it's actually like really, really cold, especially if you're gonna bike. So I double layered, I wore two pants, I'm gonna wear gloves, and we're gonna head out and go for a little bike ride while it's still nice.
It is Sunday morning now. I also just woke up, but it means it's my 23rd birthday. I'm 23 today, which is kind of freaking crazy. Um, I want to go out and get Starbucks because obviously you get your free drink on your birthday for breakfast. Not, I just want a coffee, but it kind of looks like it's gonna rain and the weather forecast says it's gonna rain at nine o'clock. It's 7.30 right now. So I might head out in just a little bit to quickly go and bike over there and grab my drink before it starts raining. But I wanted to show you what my friends got me last night because it's so cute. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but sometimes when my friends are really nice to me, it makes me feel very insecure because I feel not deserving of it but anyways my friend rebecca got me freeze dried durian because i love durian it is so good i know a lot of people think of it as a stinky fruit but i think it is delicious to be honest i've had a durian birthday cake for the last two years and i probably am going to order one for tonight as well then my friend rachel got me the cutest little hedgehog mug it the color is perfect oh my gosh it says hedgehog inside this is literally the cutest thing ever so thank you so much i didn't ask for any gifts this year because i literally only wanted my bike so a lot of my friends just e-transferred me but i also got a couple cards so i'm going to read through them they're very cute this one's from michelle I love receiving cards. I am a words of affirmations person for sure. So it feels really nice. Thank you, Michelle. This one is from Rachel. She got me, oh no, sorry. This one's from Kiara. Guys, my friends know me so well. Look at this card. It is so cute. Oh, <laughs> there's my money for my bike fund inside. <laughs> yes thank you Kiara very nice I love this card oh my gosh I want to like hang all these cards on my wall or maybe on my fridge would be nice this one's from Rachel she got me the mug oh some more money for my bike fund I'm gonna cry right now I'm literally about to cry right now oh my goodness Ugh. I'm actually, like this year, I am so extremely grateful that I have so many friends that I can lean on. Oh God, I'm gonna rip this broken. That's not good, I don't really wanna rip it, but it's too sticky. Oh, yeah, this year, especially because I'm going through a breakup at this time and everything, I'm so grateful for friends who are supportive and like willing to be there for me. This one's from Rebecca. She put in some little personalized pictures. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, these are from when we were in like grade 10, which is wild. Oh wow, there's so much writing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna cry right now, but uh, I'm so grateful for my friends this year. That is truly like the one thing. I think that's like the silver lining of my breakup. Actually, there's been a couple silver linings in my breakup, but one of them is just me realizing how supportive of a friend group that I have and just people that are willing to be there for me. And that is crazy. So thank you guys so much. It is literally like the cute, this is the cutest thing ever. Anyways, I am gonna read a little bit and just chill and then we're probably gonna bike out to Starbucks. It looks a little gross, but I'm hoping to catch my Starbucks before it starts raining. I'm back in the literal exact same spot, but this time I have a venti, a venti iced brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk with blonde espresso, triple vanilla sweet cream, cold foam on top and extra milk because I originally wanted a grande, but then the barista asked me if I wanted a venti, and I just told her I don't want extra coffee because I feel like I'm gonna bounce off the walls. So this is my drink. It looks so good. I'm not gonna drink it right now though. Uh, I tend to only drink coffee maybe two hours after I wake up. So maybe in an hour or so, I'll keep it in the fridge. But I did wanna share. It is April, it's a new month, and I find that setting monthly goals is so helpful. So. 
there's my monthly goals. I'm gonna do a little plug if you want to hear more about it, my March review and my April goals. I do have a podcast where I make episodes every single week about different topics and this week it was about, oh, I guess it would be a little bit later now that you're watching this vlog, but the week that I filmed it, it was about a March review and a review of my goals in March and then also what goals I'm setting in April. I love doing this every single month and I find it super helpful and just, I really like it to track progress and to track where I've gone each month. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave it linked in the corner and also in the description box. My podcast is always linked there. Anyways, let's keep going and slaying on this birthday. Here is my breakfast. We got peanut butter and jelly toast, a scrambled uh, or like an egg scramble with mushroom and cheese, everything with bagel seasoning on top with some prosciutto, watching YouTube, and it's looking like it's going to clear up. Maybe? Oh, it looks better out in real life than on camera, so maybe. <laughs> It is the end of my birthday and it is 9.06. I'm gonna get ready for bed, but I wanted to just give you an update about how the rest of my afternoon went because I didn't really vlog much after. I honestly didn't do much today, which I am totally fine with. And it was so nice. I definitely had some internal monologue of like, what the heck, are you a loser? But I tried to make those thoughts go away as much as I could. I spent the night with my family eating hot pot and stuff like that, but I actually went to Sephora today. I picked up the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I've been missing this for so many weeks. Excited to have it back in my routine. And I am out of my face wash, which is usually the youth to the people green tea kale cleanser, but it is just way too expensive for me now. So I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try the oat cleansing balm from the Inky List. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I haven't really heard many reviews or like I haven't really looked at it. So yeah, but I also picked up my birthday gift and this year I got the glow recipe one. I'm super excited for this. For cake, my family and I, or I always go for a durian cake, which I know is an unpopular opinion. Durian smells like gym socks, but I am a person who loves durian. I always have and it is so good. So I had that. I'm going to have leftovers for this week for sure. And then my grandparents also got me a little red pocket, which I'm very grateful for. I'm going to take a peek at what's inside. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this birthday vlog, setting up for April and everything like that. I will see you in my next episode. Bye.